Hi, I'm Adam from EnglishAcon.com and in this video today we're going to look at the basics of saving. Now, there are many different ways to save in Construct 2, but the way we're going to consider, if I open it up, get rid of the start page and open a new empty project, is to save using the system uh, tool. So if I open up the event sheet, double click, then click on double click on system, um, there are save and load options which you can use and the way these are different from other save and load options are that they save the exact state that your program was in and they load it to exactly where it was. Um, this is perhaps an uncommon way of saving because you have to save more information than you would normally. With most mobile games you'll notice that when you play them you'll have a level, level select, let's say you have 20 different levels um, and it will just need to save what level you have completed to, what your achievements are and where you've got up to, so a few variables and you'd normally save these in either dictionaries or with web storage or with an array. Um, when you load up it, you'll then be given the level selects uh, and you will have unlocked where you need to and it's only when you go into the level that um, the levels change but it doesn't but it doesn't need to record the state that the level's in because you're just recording the entrance into the level. However, with what we're going to do today, um, it records the exact, the exact state. So with that, uh, if I simply create some sort of weird game, I don't know, just something that moves that you can see, so you can see what's going on. I'm certainly just going to create a sprite such as this. I'm first going to click on layout. I'm going to change the layout size to 640 by 480. I'm going to click on new project and I'm going to go to window size down here. So 640 by 480. Um, click back on layout. Click on this sprite I've just created. You don't have to follow this. It's just to set up the scene. Click on behavior. I'm going to add a uh, where is it? Uh, bullet behavior. I'm also going to ha add a destroy outside of layout behavior. I'm going to place outside of the layout to begin with. Then I'm going to open a group and uh, call it create bullet. And what I'm going to do is right click, add sub event, then simply every second I'm simply just going to create the object, choose the object sprite at 24 and then a random Y between 24 and viewport bottom <laughs> layer 0 minus 24 Oops. click on done so that every second um, a bullet's created on the left. Here you can see I'm also going to double click and create a particle effect and let's make this nice so let's have like a dark yellow such as that and then a lighter yellow just swirling around inside of it and then maybe black around the outside uh, then just change the size of this to 64 by 64 stretching it and I'm going to change the spray cone to 360 and so I'm just going to place this here and so you've got all this animation going on I'm also then going to create two buttons and I'm probably going to use the button object so button ok let's call this button save uh, actually just to make it simple B save scroll down and type in the type screen button the text is just going to say save right click on it won't want to get my pen correct right click on it clone the object call this be low <laughs> blowed or be load and change the text to load so that when we look at these, if I press play, 
just going to have these two buttons at the top, save and load and then go to event sheet and then add new group save right click um, copy right click oh it's not working and just press control V to paste it edit that call that load so with the save right click on click on that then click on it and then right click on it to add sub event and it's when the save is on clicked then we're going to add we're going to go to system scroll down and click on save and we're going to call it the default name is my save uh, let's call it yeah let's call it save one save zero one press control a to select the whole thing and then control c to copy it so on click the system saves the game to slot one right click add a sub event double click on load on click add action go to system scroll down to load and then control V so that it says save one so on the button save when that's clicked it saves the game to a variable or the name of the save is called save one and when we click this button it saves sorry it loads save one so let's first run this and we can see I'm going to save it as soon as one of these gets to the right so right now so try and remember that and then I'm going to press load and you can see it loads back to that original position I can also refresh the game then click on load and it loads back to that original position as well um, if I close that and then I run the crew view again and let's see if I click on load yep it still remembers it but what happens if I change these names now to save 2 and more importantly load 2 and I'm not going to save it first so we've got save 1 already saved but if I click on load nothing until I click on save and then load so save saves the whole state of what's going on and loads the whole state of what's going on you can name them individually so you could have more than one save or load files I would recommend doing this if your mobile game has a level select what I would suggest doing and what I do in another series is explain this with the web storage is to simply store the variable which will be the number of the level you've gotten up to have all the other levels locked so they can't progress past that when you they load the game they only have access to the levels they've completed and whenever you click on a level you select it then the level starts from the beginning um, no matter where it is uh, not the whole level but the level that you've selected starts in the beginning so it means you don't need to save the state of what's happened in that level because it restarts every time you enter it similar to say Mario um, so that's the basics of save and load and you like I say you can have multiple of these so you could right click here clone your object and this is called save to right click here clone your object and that's another save so I could actually click on that control copy control paste right click replace the object with save to and save game slot 2 okay and then click on that control copy control V to paste it right click replace object to load 2 which is here and then I'm going to change this original slot 1 changes to slot 1 so now I've got two buttons to save to two different slots and two different load buttons so that if I save this now and then save this now if I load that's the load 1 that blue things are near the sprite but the other load is over there so you can see that two different loads um, created by the two different save slots now there are other things so for example if I click here on on save if I right click click on add another condition click on system no it's not one there um, add a blank sub event oh sorry what am I doing not a blank one right click add a sub event click on system then go to compare two variable two values then go to system again for the first value then I can actually check uh, to see if there's a save state in the JSON 
um, format uh, and that's to save your file to JSON format so if I on click of the save if I go is click on add action here then go to system then go to save um, no it won't do that I have to save it in a different format but with the loading if you were to save your, your game into the JSON format which you can do through the system thing but that will be another tutorial you can actually load that by clicking on action click on system then go down to load uh, and you can load your save file in the JSON format or the JSON string which is a string of information which you can use to then interpret but this video is just to cover the basics and I have done that so I hope you found this video nice and informative and I hope it helps you in making your games or your apps thank you very much for watching this video if you like these videos please remember to subscribe otherwise I hope you have a great day thank you